Hola familia, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So as you guys can see from the title, today I'm gonna to share with you guys some products that came over to me from Stylevana. I'm so excited to try these products because as you guys know, I did try a little bit, I dabbed a little bit into Asian makeup and I've always wanted to try a little bit more. So they did reach out to me to see if I wanted to try out their uh, a lot of products out of their website. So I have a whole basket full of products here that I have been testing out for at least two weeks now. I have my full thoughts on it, my comparisons, would I recommend it, not recommend it, the whole entire boat. If you're interested, stay tuned. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome to the familia. My name is Alejandra. I'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with a Dash Pro Japan. That is something that interests you. Subscribe. Join us. And now without further ado, let's get on with the products. All right, so before I get into the products and let you guys know my thoughts on them, I did want to put down that Stalvana did send these out to me. I was not paid in any way, shape, or form. They did give me a code, so if you are interested in purchasing anything from the website, you guys, I'm dying to try Asian skincare, so that's what I'm going to aim for. I will put the code on the screen for you guys. That allows you to get 10 to 15% off of their entire website. That does include exclude some of their weekend deals and like instant deals, I think that's what they call them. But the majority of the website is 10 to 15% off. You guys can go ahead and use that. And I do believe that I will have links for different continents. So it's just not the US, there will be some for European. So if you are from Europe and you wanna give these a shot, I'll also have those links down in the description box as well. All right, folks, let's get into the products. I am very excited about them. Some of them, I will give you guys a heads up. These products I did not specifically choose for myself. The brand chose them for me or the company chose them for me. The only thing I was able to choose was three, I believe three different shades, the eyeliner, the brow shade, and the foundation. The foundation that I did choose was sold out so they chose that on my on their own and they sent me one that was like comparable to it. So technically it was only two and you're gonna see how this panned out because I think that if a lot of these products were in the shades that I could have actually used, I think I would have liked these a lot more. Just keep that in mind as I'm reviewing these products and I will reiterate that because I feel like if I would have had a little bit more free reign, I think some of these products would have worked a lot better for me personally. So let's start out with the foundation. They had sent over to me the One Night Foundation. It provides perfect natural coverage and skin calming effect with safety ingredients. This was made in Korea. I can't read the back of it, obviously. So this is what the box looks like, and this is what the actual foundation is. I will have close up of all of these swatches, so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about when I am sharing these with you. So as far as this foundation, I absolutely love the fact that it is a, a squeezy tube. It is a beautiful finish foundation. I love the finish. I love how it wears. I love how it looks on my skin. I am wearing it today. The one issue, the one main issue, you guys, this, is the color of a concealer for me. It is so what you guys can kind of see how bad of a difference is this. I even used my cream contour to kind of warm it up because if I didn't, I would really, really look ghostly. That is the one drawback is the fact that a lot of these shades just didn't suit my skin tone. And this is one of them. This is way too light for my skin tone. The good thing is, is that I did mix it with my Clinique foundation that is way too dark for me. And the two mesh beautifully together. The formula of this foundation is gorgeous. I will tell you guys, I love it. I love the finish. I love the way it wears. It is a natural finish. It's not heavy. It is a liquidy foundation. So it's not heavy heavy on the skin and you can shear it out or build it up to a, at most a medium. You won't get full coverage out of this. At most you'll get a medium uh, finish with this one. Beautiful. Really, really enjoyed this foundation. Again, the only drawback is the fact that it's not my shade. I don't even know if they have my shade because this is not the original foundation I chose. So I don't know what their range is. So I'll see on the website if they have one that is deeper. I don't know their shade ranges, honestly. So I can't even say that they have a nice variety of, of range and there will be one for me. Because we all know that there's very limited ranges when it comes to Asian makeup, especially foundation. So I don't know. I don't know. Let's move on to the powder that was sent over. This is the Velvet Power Powder Packed by 
Hamish. I think that's what the brand is called. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is a mattifying priming primer effect. It's a setting powder. This is what the actual product looks like. You open it up, you get a nice mirror in here, which I do like. You get a powder puff, which is decent. So if you want to take this on the road or take it with you, you can. And this is what it looks like right here. It is a translucent, very sheer white uh, powder. This, again, I could not wear it all over my face, especially not with this foundation because I'm already pale enough as it is, but I did appreciate this for under the eyes. I do have this under my eyes today. The only drawback is because it is a mattifying powder, I have to be very careful how much I put under my eyes because then it'll look super dry and super crepey on the inner corners. So I really have to be very light-handed with this powder. I think that over the summer, maybe it might work. I don't know because I do get darker and this is very white. So this again, if maybe they're, they had different shades and not this white uh, complexion, I probably may have worked with that better. But as far as right now, I think the only uses that I'll have for this is the under eye and as setting my eye primer. That's basically it for this uh, found, uh, powder for me. Other than that, I think it's really good. It's nice. It's not cakey on the face. Again, it's not something that's super heavy on the skin. Unfortunately, because of the shade, I feel like it just didn't work too great for me. But if I had a different shade range, I would have liked it a little bit more, especially in the summertime because it is a mattifying powder and that would have worked great for me. Let's move on to brows. So this is the brow uh, pencil that they sent over to me. This is a fork eyebrow tint. Th I did choose this in dark brown. So this is what this one looks like right here. It's chubby. It has the little four, like a little fork right there. You guys, this, if you have no brows and you are looking, look, you can see that right there. If you are looking for some, a formula that stays put, here it is. Holy moly, this does not go, look, it does not go anywhere. If you really want a brow tint that really stays put on your eyebrows, this is your go-to. Again, <laughs> dark brown, I was expecting something dark. This is way too warm tone for me. Can you see the difference? I don't have it on my eyebrows today because it looks horrible on me. The color is just way too warm. It's too red. So it really stands out on my face. It just didn't look right. I think that the formula itself is awesome. Again, if you are that type of person that needs to have something like this, like a tint because you don't have much brows, I think it'll work great. For me personally, because I have full brows already, this clung, is that the word clung? Clinged? I don't know. Clinged to my brow hairs. So when I would put it in, it just tinted my actual brow hair, this shade. So I, I look like I have red brows basically. And look at the difference. Like I like more of an ashy cooler tone eyeline or eyebrow pencil. This is the one that I'm currently wearing. I'm going to swatch it next to that one so you guys can understand the difference between both. This one is dark brown and this is also an Asian makeup brand. So See the difference? This is the one that's in my brows now, and this one's the one that they sent to me. And this is dark brown for them. This is way too light and red for me. So that's why I couldn't wear this one. I think this is great though. The formula is amazing, you guys. Even wetting my finger, like I just licked my finger and it's still there. Still there, you guys. If you need something like this, 100% recommend this one. As long as you can find your shade, I don't know the shade ranges. If this is dark brown, I don't know what they have. This is awesome though. Awesome if you do not have much brows to work with. This will be a really, really good product. So this is the blush they sent me, you guys. And my youngest fell head over heels for it. Look at this adorableness. This is the uh the tum the sum sum those little those little things you see on the disney channel where they have like little cartoons of the disney characters but they're like the little baby little stuffed animals they sell them at target i forget what they're called and i don't have it here oh here it's the etude lovely cookie blusher this is in the peach vanilla cream isn't this adorable you guys so you open it up and you get this little powder puff in here isn't that adorable this is just cutest thing ever i wish that this was in a darker shade so this is the shade that they sent me it's a matte bl uh, blush this does not show up on me at all look it looks like a powder to me to be honest with you this could probably be a face powder for me this does not show up Look at that swatch. It doesn't show up at all on my skin. All it does is give me this ashy cheek. 
because it's so light. There is nothing that comes up on me. So unfortunately, I really couldn't use this one. I've used it twice. I tried to build it up and all it did was give me like a, it looked like I had a dry patch on my cheek because it is a matte blush. So it just looked like I was putting a matte powder on my cheeks, unfortunately. But I think that the packaging, the presentation, this is all beautiful. If this was, if this came in a darker shade, they sent it to me in a darker shade, I think I would really enjoy this one. So again, like I mentioned in the beginning, this is like a trend with this one. Unfortunately, the colors just didn't suit me, but the formulas were so good. This <gasps> breaks my heart that it didn't work for me, honestly, because this is beautiful and I would have loved this. If this was a deeper blush, a peachy blush, <gasps> would have been awesome. Move on to the eyeliner. This is the, this is in deep black. This is a color that I did choose, the Waterproof Pen Eyeliner by Mo. I think it's like McQueen Moly. I think that's the brand McQueen. Yes, McQueen New York. And this is how the packaging is. And this is what it is. It's a felt tip pencil. You have to shake it up. And you guys, I love this one. Absolutely love this one. This does not bleed into any of my, uh, like it doesn't bleed out. It stays put. I have it on today. It's gorgeous. I love this one. Really enjoy it. And I'm not a like a girl like this, but I do like it for these days where I just want to have a little bit of an eyeliner on and I don't want to have too much. This is great. I put this on and look, it's definitely waterproof. Waterproof. I just licked my finger. Look at that. Waterproof. This is awesome, you guys. If you're looking for another eyeliner and you want to replace the KVD one, this is a good one to have. I really, really like this one. This one I think will come in handy for me when I'm sweating, when I am outside in the rain. I think this will be good. This product right here worked in every way possible uh, that I wanted it to. So I'm happy to have this one and it worked amazing. Amazing. Now this is going to take me a while to take off. Two more products, you guys. This is the next thing that they sent over to me. This is the McQueen New York Moly. What is this shade? In uh, This is an eyeshadow palette in tone on tone shadow palette so this is the packaging of it you guys this is the baby version of a mac palette isn't this adorable <laughs> i couldn't help myself like look at this cuteness so this is what this palette looks like right here i can appreciate this palette one because of its size it's just adorable i cannot help it Two, the quality is actually not bad. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes. You guys can see it really packs a punch. I appreciate that the fact that I have neutrals, but I have some brighter shades at the bottom. So I have been using this one and I really enjoy it. The only drawback, well, there's two drawbacks to this palette. One is the size of the pans. You have to, you know, really concentrate on where it is that you're putting your brush because if you have a big brush, it's not gonna really work in here. And two, the shimmers in here are not the best. The mattes perform amazing. There is powder kick up as you guys can see, but the mattes is what is the winner in here. You're getting one, two, three shimmers and the rest are all mattes. So for me, this is a total win. I really like this one. I think it's adorable. Doesn't this remind you of the MAC little mini ones? Oh my gosh, just the mini version of it. So cute, really like this. The formula is really good for the mattes. They're creamy, they're smooth. You do get powder kick up, but they're very pigmented and they do last all day. So yes, this is definitely a winner in my book. I really like this one and it's not gonna take up a lot of space. I can also take this with me in my purse. If, I, if you are working and you need to touch up, this is, does not take that much space. And you can actually multitask these. You could probably use some of these as brows, like this one right here, contour maybe, you know what I mean? Like a powder up here. So you can kind of use multitask this because it is neutral, but you still get those bright shades. Last but not least is this product. This is the lip product that they sent me. This is a, uh, I can't even say, but it's a wine lip tint in velvet. The color. Hey guys, so somehow my last fit footage of this uh, review somehow got corrupt and I can't fix it. So I just wanted to really quickly get on here. This is Editing Alex. My apologies for the way that I'm looking, but I have no choice because I need to get this video up. So 
I wanted to let you guys know about this product right here, which was the Wine Lip Tint. This is great, especially if we are mask wearers still. This leaves, leaves a really nice tint, super thin on the lips. It's beautiful on the lips. I wish I would have gotten a different color, but it is nice. It wears really nicely, and it is a tint. So once it wears off, you get this like... Uh, lollipop not lollipop like popsicle stick kind of look on your lips but because it is red it's a little bit more vibrant and noticeable and i whenever i swatch this on my hand literally the swatch stays on all day no matter how many times i wash my hands it stays on for a very very long time so this is great now that we're currently wearing masks i think i would really like this i wish i would have gotten it in other colors and if they do have other colors i would highly recommend this one as well that's it you guys thank you guys so much for watching thank you stylevana for sending these products over and my apologies for having to end the video like this but i have no choice and i just did not want to end the video abruptly i'll put my videos on the screen for your enjoyment until then adios